thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch. So for today's video, I am recreating a Kylie Jenner makeup look that she just posted on her Instagram. I was just scrolling through my feed earlier today and I saw this photo of hers popped up. And I thought it was so pretty. I love the colors. It's so summery. She's actually wearing her new summer collection in this photo. So I tried to find, I tried to find is the keyword makeup that would closely represent hers. I know my lips are a lot darker, but I just explain everything as I go throughout the video. So before we hop on into it, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell beside the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it. And if you'd like to know how I recreated this look, then please just keep watching. I'm gonna start off by applying some bronzer. It doesn't look like she has anything shiny on, just a really matte base. So I'm just gonna use my Benefit Hoola bronzer. I also already have my base on, so I have my foundation, concealer, and powder just because I felt like that part would be a little bit boring to watch. But I did keep it very matte. I used my Catrice Cosmetics HD liquid foundation, which is very matte. Also, their concealer. And then I used the RCMA No Color Powder to bake my face with. I don't really see her have much of a contour, so all I'm going to do is take a little bit extra of my bronzer and put it into the hollows of my cheeks. I will also use this contour just to contour my nose a little bit. Down the sides, I'm just using a fluffy shader eyeshadow brush to do it. And then a little bit underneath the nose. Her blush is very prominent on her face, so I'm going to use a lot of blush. It also looks very pink, but like a deep pink. I'm going to go into my Anastasia Blush Trio. This one is in the shade Cocktail Party, and it has this really deep pink in it, and that's the shade I'm going to use today. I'm going to start with a little bit and build my way up if I need to. But it looks like she has the majority of her blush right here onto the apples of her cheeks, just right above the bronzer, and I feel like it's a little bit blended into the bronzer right here. So I'm going to do that and then just kind of blend it back so it's not too harsh. It looks like she's wearing a golden champagne highlighter. So I'm going to use this one. It's from Anastasia. It is the So Hollywood Loose Highlighter. It's a really pretty gold. And it looks like she has the majority right near the front of her cheekbone. So that's where I'll put the most and then just drag it back on the rest of my cheekbone. Also has some on the tip of her nose. And that's about all. It looks like she just has it in her cheekbones and her nose, but maybe I'll just put a tiny bit on my temples just to even it out a little bit. I'm just gonna take a big duo fiber brush and quickly blend out these products a little bit. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I don't have any of the products she's wearing. She's actually wearing her new summer collection which I don't have, so I'm gonna kind of make do with what I do have. So first I'm gonna go into my Pretty Rich Too Faced palette. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called It's Cashmere, because she looks like she has a really warm crease shade. Using my Elamar crease brush, I'm gonna start working it into my crease. The shade's really bold on her eyes, so you can really tell it's there. So I'm just going to put a fair amount on this Eyeshadow in general is already pretty pigmented, so I don't really need to build it up that much. It doesn't really look like it's flicked out too far. It kind of looks like she has it hugging over her eyelid. I might be wrong, but it looks like there's another shade in her crease very low into it, and it's a little bit of a darker brown. So I'm just going to take the shade of Troubled from my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. I know I'm dipping into a lot of palettes, but I'm just trying to find what I have that matches with her look. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that on my Luxie Mini Tapered Brush. Focus it very low into the crease. A little bit on my lid as well, just to make sure I'm blending it in nicely. And I really don't want to be dragging it up too far into the other shade because I don't want to ruin it and make it look muddy. I'm just being very careful with this shade. While I'm holding this brush, I'm just gonna take its cashmere again and run it underneath my lower lash line. Now for this tealy green, I can only find this palette that I have that has a similar shade to it. And I'm pretty sure this was Sigma's holiday palette. It is their Viper palette. So I really hope that they still have it in stock. It really was the only kind of greenish shade that I could find in my collection, so I'm gonna have to use it. And I'm gonna put another shade on top to kind of mix the colors and make it similar to hers. So sorry in advance if you don't have this palette. There are plenty greenish teal shades out there that you could find. So this 
shade is on the outer part of her lid and it's not going into the crease it's just strictly on her lid so i'm just going to pick up some of the shade on a flat brush and start applying it i'm going to try and carve out my lid as well because her shade is very precise I'm just firmly packing it on so i don't get any Follow. This eyeshadow is a very soft eyeshadow, so I'm just trying to be really careful with it. Taking my little Luxie brush again, I'm just going to very lightly blend out the edges. Hers wasn't really blended into the other eyeshadows, so I'm trying to be super light-handed with it so it doesn't all mesh together. Now going into my Elmar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's a really pretty teal shade. It's not exactly like the shade she's wearing. Hers is kind of more green. So I'm just gonna add this right on top of the shade that I just put down. That way it can just be a little bit more bright, but still keep that green with it. Now for the pink shade, I'm going back into my Pretty Rich palette and I'm gonna grab this shade right here called Princess Cut. I'll be placing this one onto the inner part of my lid and connecting it with the teal shade. First, just spraying my brush with some Fix Plus. So it can be nice and shiny. Also, Cutting the crease with this shade and take my finger just to blend the two shades together. I think on her lids are actual kind of cream eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure that's what she's coming out with. They're in these little pots, so I'm pretty sure they're cream. I think I'm actually going to raise my lid shades a little bit further onto my crease because her eyelids look like they're larger than mine, so she has some more space to work with. So her lid shades look a lot higher than mine, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And right there, I think I'll bring the shades up to. Okay, I raised the eyeshadows, and now I'm going to move on to the wing because she has a winged eyeliner. I'm going to take my Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. This one is my favorite. I might have to do my wing off camera because I struggle, but we'll see how it goes. Her wing is kind of curved out at the end. So we'll see if I can manage that. And then it's kind of thicker here, not very thick. And then it just goes out into a thin line for the rest of the upper lash line. Lower water line, it's very light. I'm going to go in with my Wonder 2 Super Stay Liner. This one is in the shade Calic Champagne. And then for my upper water line, I'm going to use the Essential Black. Just so I can connect all of my liner together on my upper water line. Make sure there's no gaps. Coating my lashes with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara before I put my false lashes on. Doesn't really look like she's wearing false lashes, but she might be. Either way, I'm going to put some on. But since her lashes look really subtle, I'm just going to use a very soft pair. And they are the Ardell 105 Glamour Lashes. My favorite lash ever. These will be the finishing touches on the eye. I'll just put a little bit of inner corner highlight on. It doesn't really look like she's wearing any or much. It just might be the angle she's posing in that photo, but I'll just put a tiny bit on anyways. I feel like my eyeshadow totally doesn't match hers, but it's the closest thing I've got. Okay, the closest thing I found to her lip liner was this Wet n Wild gel lip liner. It's in the shade Bare to Comment, and it's kind of a deeper nude it looks like she has lip liner on but kind of faded into her lips and it really doesn't look like she has any lipstick on in the center of her lips but we'll see how this goes i'm just gonna outline my lips and then kind of fade it in to my lips using my finger i'm gonna switch to a brush and just start blending the lip product out i'm going to take the shade dread from anastasia i feel like her lips are a little bit more cool tone than what I have on. I'm going to use this kind of as a lip liner. That's not the right shade either. The one I had on before is closer. This looks like I made myself a little <laughs> mustache. Actually, looking at the picture, it does look like it's more of this shade, but just more faded out. So I'll just apply it the same way I applied the lip liner before. Oh, it just looks crazy. I'm just playing around at this point. So now I'm taking Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Naked and I'm going to try and lighten up my lips. Okay, since my lips are majorly overlined and you can tell, I'm going to clean them up a little bit because I can't stand it. Just grab some concealer on a flat brush. I'm going to bring them down a bit. Okay guys, well that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I don't know how I feel about the look. I feel like everything that I did turned out a lot darker than hers was. But I still feel like it was the closest I could find. I wish I had a lighter kind of lipstick or lip liner to work with, but it is what it is. So please don't forget to subscribe before you leave like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.